All right. Let's, let's, let's review the lessons. Today's lesson so far. We've learned that women cheat too. That's right. And we've learned that the process of becoming a man and understanding what love is takes time for a dude, right? Like I, I know Dre said that chivalry is not dead, and it isn't. It isn't dead. But oftentimes what happens is that we as men kind of have to go through a process. It's a, it's a learning process for us to get to that point. That's, that's what it is. That was too much. <laughs> the thing is, is that the interesting thing is that once a man gets to the point where he understands what love is and he understands what chivalry is and how to treat a woman or whatever, oftentimes women have been so scorned by the time they get to that point that they don't even realize, they don't even recognize. So there was a poem earlier on the open mic, I forget the young lady's name, but she was talking about how dudes just, their approach, like, you know, Charlie, what your name is, and, and, and where your man at, that's some, that's some junk in the trunk. She's still here? Alright, I'm sure all y'all go through it, right? So, I understand that it's difficult. So, before I even get into anything else, let me apologize for what it is that I'm about to say to you. Because normally as a gentleman, there would be no reason that I would come and speak this way to you, but I've sat quietly by while these other men have lied and all you want them to do is say the truth. Spit lines that they think will allow them to have their way with you. Confuse the fact that you have gained as an invitation to play with you. Do what they think needs to be done just so that they can lay with you and at the same time, they already try to come up with their excuse. That's why they gotta get up early in the morning and can't stay with you. See, they claim to worship the ground you walk on, but they look perplexed when you ask for them to pray with you because their approach is predictable. See, they're at the bar trying to purchase your emotions with mixed liquor. Brag to you that they make six figures, claim that their dick's bigger and that they can lick your click quicker, but it figures. Because a man that lacks substance must make claims that he can't substantiate. Right. While a real man just is, because by definition we can't be fake. You see, I'm not trying to get you in bed, but instead I'm asking why can't we wait? Because I know that that date's been predetermined and we can't be fake. Besides, I know that if I'm patient, the date will come when I'll be able to hit it from the back so hard that you can't see straight. But if we allow that to happen now, we can be lovers, but we can't be mates. So I would much rather that we wait so that we can have the kind of love that only he creates. You see, I want us to gaze in each other's eyes after it's over and say, damn, ain't we great? Because <laughs> I realize that it's much more than a cute face and slim waist that makes you fly. You see, I'm more concerned with what are your passions, what is it that motivates you, what makes you cry. I want to be the motivating force that when you think you can't, I'll make you try. I'm trying to travel to the depths of your soul and then take you high. Because I realize that it's much more than thick thighs and light eyes that make you fine. You see, I'm trying to take your breath away so that when you want to speak to me, I make you sign. I want to do everything that you think you've done to make you mine because I need your 1,000 gigawatts to power my flex capacity so we can travel through space and time. And I realize that you're apprehensive. And I may even be able to weaken your defenses with some of these breakthrough lines, but in order for you to truly fall in love with me, that's going to take you time. And that's okay. You see, I just want to make sure that while you're waiting for your <sighs> exhale, that you're not waiting for your ex. Hell, trying to keep around that you're going to the fire. Oh, some of y'all waiting on that dude for real. make sure that you're not waiting for your ex. Hell, trying to keep a dude around you that you know is no good only makes it more difficult for the next male. And I know that you're looking at me thinking that I'm a nice guy, but secretly when you get home, you hope that dude hits you on the next tail, but we both know that he won't because he's too busy hitting the next tail. Y'all know too? Y'all know too? Because he's too busy hitting the next tail. And now you wonder why it is that you only get approached by dudes whose idea of a compliment is saying that they like the way your chest swells, or likes your lead press on nails, and some dudes are even bold enough to say, hey mommy, I just want to know how your breasts feel. But that's just them trying to be irresponsible. Lick it and quit it. Suck it and fuck it. And I apologize for picking so explicitly, but I want you to buy into what I'm saying, and they say that sex 
Sales. You see, I don't want you to lower your standards. I just want to make sure that you have some. Because I want to take a chance on this love, and I don't want to suffer for the things that other dudes have done. And I know you prayed to God for a good man because he spoke to me and told me that it's time that you have one. But I know that I'm not perfect. I mean, I would be lying if I told you when it came to issues, I have none. I mean, look at me. I may not be tall, dark, and handsome like Morris Chestnut. I look in the... <laughs> Fess up, but guess what? When I write a list of the priorities in my life after God, there is just us. And the only thing that I'm ever going to ask from you is just love. And the only thing that you're ever going to need to give to me is just love. So trust love. Trust me. Trust that even though love is blind, everything you try to show, I'm a C. And trust that even though I don't have much everything you need, I'm a bee. Because if it's the sun that's in your eyes, then stand under me because, gee, I'm a tree. See, I know that you've been looking towards the skies for your sign. And I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but my treasure's stored in heaven, so I don't need you to co sign. Right. I just want you to remember this theorem. That even though on the outside we may be opposite and different, alternate interior angles are congruent. So on the inside, you're my equal because true love we're both pursuing. And I don't even care if my homeboys think that you're A-square. Because if it means being with you, then I will gladly be squared. As both together and the world will see squared and know that love is our hypotenuse. And I'm not even trying to be Pythagoras. I mean, hell, when I was in school, I barely passed calculus. But I know that just like simple mathematics, there's a formula to having bliss. And I'm willing to dedicate all of my time to late night study sessions with you if it means having this. Because we both know that's not that easy. I mean, our lives consist of consistent inconsistencies. And even in the last five minutes of me trying to express this, I know you've gotten uh, confused trying to get the sense of me. And I wish that I could tell you that it gets easier, but unfortunately this is me. A man who is filled with simple complexities. But I promise that if you take a chance on me, that I will give you the best of me. And even when I'm away, I will have you come for me. That's without having sex with me. So it's up to you as to whether or not you want to take a chance on this or just simply let this be. Because I can't make this decision alone. Collectively, we are a democracy, not one republic. And I know that it may be too late to apologize, but I'm going to do it anyway because my mind is wondering what you think of it. Just let me simply say, well, I apologize for the things that I felt the need to say to you. Because normally as a gentleman, there would be no reason that I would come and speak this way to you. If I just said that chivalry is alive, you would think that I'm a lie. So I'm deciding to just say the truth. But I do want to lay with you. <laughs> 